Hello everyone, welcome to another lecture on Schrodinger wave equation. In the previous lecture, we have seen time independent Schrodinger wave equation, and now let us look at time dependent Schrodinger wave equation. So, we, in the previous lecture, we have seen that psi of x comma t is a, a mathematically complex quantity. So, here it involves both the imaginary and real components, uh, which is a e power i k x minus omega t. So here k is wave vector and omega is angular frequency. So this quantity is related to parameters of the particle, like particle has wave vector and angular frequency. So it is related to it uh, this way and a is a constant here. So x is uh, x represents the space and t represent time. So it is related that way and uh, we know that momentum is equal to k h cut. So p is equal to k h cut. Uh, we know that momentum is equal to h by lambda. So when we multiply and divide with two, when we multiply and divide with two pi, uh, then two pi by, uh, then h by two pi will become h cut, and two pi by lambda will become k. So in that way, P is equal to K H cut and he is equal to H cut by H cut omega. So H cut is nothing but H by 2 pi. Omega is 2 pi nu. Denominator and uh, the denominator and numerator uh, 2 pi will get cancelled. So H nu. So now when we replace K and omega with P and E. So here it, it becomes psi of X comma D is equal to A E or i by h cut px minus et. So p by h cut, e by h cut, that we are taking outside and the equation will become as equation one. Now here p comma e are assumed to be constant. So when they are constant, uh, when we can differentiate with respect to x, so when we differentiate uh, the equation one with respect to x, we get a into i by h cut into p because we are differentiating with respect to x. So uh, we get p outside and then e into i by h cut px minus ut. This is second equation. Now from above relation of psi, that is equation one, uh, what it is uh, psi of x comma t is a e power i by h cut px minus ut. So that, that we can replace in equation two uh, uh, when we do that uh, here, uh, this is a this one. When we replace here, uh, we get i by h cut into psi of x comma t. Now, uh, so here we get psi psi of x comma t. We, for simplicity, we will replace as psi p psi. When we take them to another uh, side, like uh, when we take this i to this side, uh, it gave, it becomes minus i into h cut. Minus i into h cut d psi by dx is equal to p psi. So here we have p and this is psi. And this term we have taken to another side. So from there, when we differentiate, when we double differentiate the equation one, now if we differentiate this, this, this one again, it will become double differentiation. So do square by do x square, this will be is equal to a e by uh, a e power i by h cut px minus e t into i p by h cut whole square. And here i square is nothing but minus one. So we get minus and p square by h cut square. And again, this term we can again represent as psi because here psi of x comma t is a e power i by h cut px minus e t. So in this way, uh, we end up with this. So now p square psi, when we can take h cut square to this side and minus also to that side. So p square psi is equal to minus h cut square, dou square by dou x square. This is third equation. And uh, now, now when we 
take partial differentiation of equation one with respect to time. So previously we differentiated with respect to x here. Uh, now we are differentiating this with respect to t. When we differentiate with respect to t, we get minus e. A e power a into i by h cut we get and here minus e will get because this is a uh, e is associated with product of t. So we get minus e here uh, as you can see. So minus e by h cut into i and this is psi. So when we represent uh, this is psi and uh, so here i h cut now we are taking this is minus i when we take to this side it will become plus i so here a minus one is nothing but i square now i square by i is i so here we get i do psi by do t and uh, this h cut we are taking this side so i h cut do psi by do t is equal to here we have e and this term is psi so e is psi this is fourth equation now total energy as you know is sum of potential energy and kinetic energy and kinetic energy is nothing but p square by 2m that is p is momentum like kinetic energy is half mv square momentum is uh, momentum p is equal to mp so when we do p square by 2m that will be equal to kinetic energy and here potential energy is v so total energy is equal to p square by 2m plus v which is potential energy so e psi is equal to uh, p square so here e is nothing but p square by 2m plus v when we multiply with psi again on this side we multiply with psi so now uh, finally when we uh, when we put equation 3 comma 4 in 5 that is for p square psi and e psi here we have p square psi and here uh, here we have e psi. So where here uh, now here e psi is there that we will replace with ih cut dou psi by dou t. And uh, when we have p square plus by 2m plus v into psi, so we can take this inside which become p square psi that we will replace with this. And uh, so then when we do that i h cut those i h cut dou psi by dou t that we we replaced for e psi which is equal to 1 by 2 m so here p square by 2 m now 1 by 2 m and replaced with p square psi p square psi is uh, this one so by doing that and plus v psi so we get minus h cut square by 2m dou square psi by dou x square plus v psi is equal to high h cut dou psi by dou t. Now here in this equation, we can see the time quantity as it is a time dependent. So this one is time dependent Schrodinger wave equation. And uh, for three dimensions, we will have three parameters x, y, and z. So psi will be function of x, y, z. And uh, for three dimensions, this will be the case. But whenever we deal with one dimension, it's going to be like this. And we can represent dou square by dou x square plus dou square by dou y square plus dou square by dou z square as del square. So minus h cut square by 2m del square psi plus v psi is equal to high h cut dou psi by dou t. This is a time dependent Schrodinger wave equation. So we have seen both time independent and time dependent Schrodinger wave equation. In the next lecture, we will see the physical meaning of uh, meaning of this uh, quantity psi of x comma t and uh, Schrodinger wave equation. And we will see the applications of Schrodinger wave equation to different uh, systems. Uh, like particle in a box or infinite potential well. So how we can apply Schrodinger wave equation and solve the system to analyze its behavior or describe its behavior. So thank you for watching. And if you're watching for the first time, please subscribe my channel and uh, give a like if you like.
like the video and share with your friends. Thank you so much.